keep going. You got it, you got it running? We're doing this live, so sometimes we have technical difficulties. So what's everything about creating income besides being a school teacher, right? So then you maybe go to college, a bigger building with more people in it. And you go to that college, and what happens? You come out of it with a piece of paper. Now, society has said this piece of paper, this diploma, then equips you for the good life. The good life. You get this, you go, you're born, maybe you didn't have control here, maybe you didn't like this, but you go to college, you pick your major, you come out and you live the good life, and the good life is health, wealth, love, and happiness. You have enough money left over. Lie. This is a lie. And so the reason I say this can be the most important 18 minutes of your life is because the day you wake up from a lie is the real first day of your life. So I want to wake some people up, but I don't want to just wake you up to a problem. I want to give you a solution. That's the most important thing. Everybody talks about problems in the world and politics and who's president and who's not and all this, but they don't give solutions. I got a solution. But first I got you have to know, lies happen here. I'm not saying school's not good. I'm not saying you should drop out of elementary school, but the promise that is unspoken from our parents that if you do this, then finances work out is a provable lie. The average person in the United States, which is the wealthiest country in the world, um, can't even save 1% or 2% of what they make. There's nothing left over at the end of the month. How are you going to have a good life when you're always breaking even or going in the hole? You can't have a good life that way. So that's the lie. College degree used to work in the 1960s, 70s, and even 80s, but it stopped working in the last 10 or 20 years as a guaranteed uh, uh, a guaranteed road to financial freedom. So let's do an alternative world. Let's imagine for a second that you were dropped in, but you could pick your parents. So let's just say your parents were, were I don't know, Jeff Bezos, okay? Jeff Bezos. They're now divorced, so I don't want to say his wife, but his ex-wife. So you're born into this family, okay? What would be different? Or Bill Gates, or pick somebody that you like. Elon Musk is your, are your parents. And they begin to teach you at a young age principles outside of a building, but coming straight from them about how wealth is created, how money is invested properly, how you can diversify your income. The average millionaire has three streams of income. What would be different right now in your life if those parents had, maybe they weren't the richest people in the world like in this scenario, but what if they had been able to equip you with that? My mom couldn't do that. She was a single mom. She probably never made more than ten or $15,000 in a year raising me. My dad went to prison when I was a little kid, so she had no choice, right? And so I'm not blaming parents. I'm just saying there are a lot of lies, and they can be lies, unintended lies. People didn't mean to tell you a lie. It's just they were lied to, so then they pass on the lie. I don't look at my mom and go, Mom, you lied to me. My mom didn't know. No one told her. And so the cycle and the curse continues. But the good news is in this scenario, this is the second scenario, a better scenario. You picked your parents. You come out. You know what? The number one thing that makes people rich, having rich parents. And it's not just because they inherit money from their parents. That, that's part of it. But people like Bill Gates, he's not giving his kids much money. He decided not to pass it on. But you know what? His kids got a great opportunity because not only might they inherit some money, not only will they get opportunities and access, but they got the training. They got the mentorship. And oftentimes, Parents like Warren Buffett, the third or fourth richest person in the world, his son Howard Buffett is a partner with him in Berkshire Hathaway, which is the top five largest company in America. So there's what it, what would you get here? You get mentorship, opportunities, cash, partnerships, all this stuff is happening right here. Can they see this here? 
But forget that too, because that's a fantasy. Wouldn't that be great if your parents were rich? You wouldn't have to work so hard. You wouldn't have to stress out. Well, that's a fantasy. So let's strike that off the board. Let's go to number three. Reality. We got to be realists. I tell people, the first scenario was a pessimistic one. Parents and school didn't equip you, so life's going to suck forever. Don't be a pessimist. The last one I show you is overly optimistic. You can't pick your parents. So let's talk about reality right now. What can you do? Well, odds are you've already gone through school, maybe college, maybe not, and you're right here at this phase, and you have a big question mark. Okay, Ty, great. We were lied to. People didn't tell us about multiple streams of income. Nobody equipped us. No, blah, 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 blah. We got a piece of paper, but the piece of paper, people are spending 100 grand for a $40,000 job. They're going 100 grand in debt to be able to get a $40,000 job. That's a bad investment for a lot of people, plus interest. So what do you do? What's a practical thing that you can do? I want to give you this challenge, and I've challenged myself to get a million people on this path. And I'm starting with a thousand because you never want to start with a million is a big number. But I want to take a million people and I want to take them on a new path. Starting with a thousand, I built a test group. You might have seen it if you're on my email list or social media. But this is the best thing I've ever done, in my opinion, um, to actually help an average ordinary person go from financial, uh, what would be the word, from being broke and I'm not going to promise everybody's going to become a millionaire. This isn't a get-rich-quick scheme. It's not a Ponzi scheme. It's not a multi-level thing or anything like that. It's like, let me give you something. I'm going to give you the thing that in the next 60 days starts to create income for you. You can keep your job. starts to create actual income. Ideally, three sources. So I said I'm going to do this in eight, 18 minutes. I got eight, eight minutes left, seven minutes left. So what can you do? I'm going to tell you right here. I came up with this the last month. I basically locked myself in. I haven't been going out. If people have been like, Ty, you're not posting that much on social media. Doesn't seem like you're out having fun. That's because I've been thinking. I've been thinking about what can help you. My life has always gotten better when I've helped lots of people using social media speaking them to, through, uh, uh, to them through the camera, my life always gets better. It's like an unintended side, of, side effect. You know, not even just the money, but just, I don't know, what goes around comes around. So, locked myself in a room for the last month. I've been on my farm. I went to Vegas, but I didn't go out partying. I didn't bet. And this is what I found out. I went back to the basics, and I said, you didn't have parents. What helped you? So here it is. I'm going to give it to you. Everything you've been waiting for. Here's, if in the next 60 days you do this, um, this is the best chance you will ever have at transforming your life financially. Find somebody making from one to $10 million. By the way, let me put, I'm gonna put the criteria. Find somebody making one to 10 million. And then here's the key thing. They have to been able, they have to have been doing it for at least five years. So you can't just find somebody who just, this is their first year and they're just starting to be successful. That's, you don't want to partner with somebody who just started, right? You want to be with experience. And this is the third thing. Partner on their existing businesses. The biggest problem Partner with them. Get, a, get them to split their money with you. Now, some people are going to go, oh, duh. Why would someone do that? Well, <laughs> that's the big magic question. But you still got to know what your goal is. This is the goal. If you do this, this is the best thing. You could go out and start your own franchise. You could start a McDonald's or Subway. They say those have great chances of, result, uh, of success. Okay, but those cost 100 to 500,000 to a million dollars to start. So we're gonna cross that off the table because I'm assuming you don't have a million bucks to start. A McDonald's costs over a million dollars to start. Um, you can go start a lawn care business. You can start a auto body shop. You can start a dog walking business. You can start, you can drive for Uber. 
I just flew in here and took Uber back to my place here. Okay, you can do that. But that's a guaranteed dead end, most of those things. Guaranteed hard path because it's hard to start something new. So my advice to you is going to go against probably some of the stuff that I've said years ago because I've learned more. Don't start by doing something new. This is what's, you know, there's so many people on social media now giving people advice, uh, advice about money, and, and, and I'm one of them. And I realize I've been doing a disservice to people. I mean, a lot of stuff has helped people, and a lot of stuff people are saying. Don't get me wrong. I'm not speaking bad, but I got a better way, a way that works better, that works twice as well with half the results. Notice I didn't say makes you a millionaire with no work. Nothing can make you a millionaire with no work. But don't start by doing something new. Anytime you meet somebody who goes, I don't have enough money, so I'm starting something new, just be like, are you insane? You might as well go work at Uber. Not trying to throw any Uber people under the bus, but it's not a great job that you want to be doing for the next 10 years. I don't know if anybody's like, yeah, I want to drive Uber for 10 years. What if you do what I just said? So you talk to friends of friends. You talk to your parents. Hey, do we know anybody that's making $1 to $10 million a year for at least five years that I could possibly partner? I didn't say they're going to give you 50%. They might give you 2%, 1%. But this is what I did. When I was 19 years old, I partnered with Joel Salatin, my first mentor. He put the cash in. He had the business. He had the employees. He had the equipment. And guess what? We split the money. I made uh, 12000 and he made like 50000 It was a good partnership. It wasn't equal 50-50 because he put all the money in, and he was you know, 25 years or whatever older than me. But that partnership got me success in my first. It took me about eight months. And I took that money, and I reinvested, and I found a second. My second uh, business was with a guy named John DeWar. He put in. That business was bigger. It was in finance, and we built all his website, and we started generating leads using Google, and he put in, I think, $250,000 that I didn't have still. I partnered with him. He was already a self-made millionaire. He had been making tons of money. For, I'm not sure if he was exactly at this level, but he was making, I mean, he had retired like at 30 years old. My partnerships with John DeWar and Joel Salatin are the basis of my success because I did, I realized, like, Everybody's trying to start stuff from new scratch. They're trying to do drop shipping. They're trying to launch an agency. All that is fine. It does work, but this works better. So if, you're, if you have an agency, if you're doing drop shipping, this works better. Better chance, better odds, quicker, less pain, less risk, everything you want, and more upside potential, more money. Richest person I ever had dinner with, 101, Steve Ballmer. He said, you know why, Ty, I'm worth $40 billion? People have lots of reasons. I'm this smart. I went to Harvard, blah, blah, blah. He said, most important thing ever happened to me was partnering with Paul Allen and Bill Gates. You partner with Paul Allen and Bill Gates, you may end up with $40 billion. Elon Musk, people forget. Elon Musk partnered with some smart people. Peter Thiel. I mean, these are geniuses. These are people who were very successful and on, on the path. You need to hitch your wagon and connect with somebody. If you know somebody in your neighborhood, in your community, do it with them. That's the best in person. If you don't, I'm gonna give you one opportunity. I'm gonna put a link right here. I've got this open. We have now uh, three more days. Is it three? Three and a half more days if you wanna get in. I'm doing a partnership, uh, partnership where I will give you part, you can partner with me. I have a full explanation here. Go here or you can click the links. tylopez.com slash partner live. That's the link, right? Can you confirm that? Right. Partner live. Or you can just go to tylopez.com. It should be this main slider here. Okay. As I told you, I'm taking a thousand people and I'm going to partner with them. I have multiple streams of income and I'm going to let people partner and take a cut. They can go out all the infrastructure. I have it all the customer support employees and we've invested over $50 million in it. I've built a brand. I've got the customer support, the sales team, the credit card processing, the website. You don't have to do anything 
except follow. I have a 10 step, um, step by step formula. So in the next 60 days, my goal is three streams of income. Don't quit your main job. You don't have to. I got three new things for you. Go here, watch the presentation here. If you want to get in, you've, you have three days. If you can find someone in your community, that's better. But if you can't, if you don't know somebody who's been doing one to $10 million for the last uh, at least five years or more, I have, and you can partner with me. I've never offered this ever before. So go here, tylopez.com slash partner live. Thanks for the time. It's been 18 minutes and 50 seconds.